Sunday night and my first weekend of law school's over. It was just orientation weekend, but we did still do a couple of mock classes. I feel pretty good about stuff so far. Like a lot of people were talking about imposter syndrome and I was like, I don't know, I feel like for the first time in a long time that like this is exactly where I need to be. Didn't really feel the imposter syndrome. I don't know if the fan noise is bothering you. Uh, yeah! Sorry, I apologize if it is. Anyway, this is the start of the vlog. It's Sunday evening. I wanted to show you something that I bought for law school for myself as a treat. This little sweatsuit combo. University of Denver sweatsuit. I feel like everybody has sweatsuits and like I haven't had one so this is like the only thing I bought like new 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 but it's also not super great quality you can see some of the stains like in the discoloration of the fabric I've also stained it like six times already I've gotten oil on it a bunch like I was like cooking one night and splattered a ton of oil on the pants but actually it doesn't look that bad right now so maybe it's not that bad but anyway I plan for this to be like when I'm in Denver like after class just like to be comfy in the evenings like Friday evening when I get there like Saturday evening I just want to like wear this and be like fashion forward but also on brand and comfy cozy and like that's what I'm excited for because I these pants are super comfy and the whole thing is comfy but anyway I wanted to keep you in the loop on that also, I found out that we don't have to be business casual for the actual school on the weekends. It was just for the orientation weekend, which, like, I think I would have dropped out if they had said, actually, you have to wear business casual and business professional. Because I already do that for work, and it's just, like, it's so uncomfortable. And I want to, like, if I'm going to be sitting for eight hours listening to law school lectures, like, I want to be comfortable. So, anyway, welcome to the vlog. Like and subscribe, obviously. Ring the notification bell. It's the best kind of bell you can ring, you know? It's like the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, except cool things happen when you ring it. Yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna go to sleep and then it'll be a new day. Morning. It's Monday morning. It's about six o'clock, I think. <sighs> anyway, and I need to start making breakfast. Like I need to put the bacon in the oven. And then I need to start this practice exam. I just want to get it done, I think. And that way after work I could just... <sighs> so tired. Yeah, if I do the practice exam now and get it done before work, then after work I could work on just reading for criminal law. Came back from work Monday work is done and my goals for tonight are to get my criminal law reading done and then upload my last video which is the like back to school Paul kind of thing and like what's in my backpack and here's my desk so I'm gonna try and get that up I'm not gonna do a ton of editing with it it's like really just get it done at this point because I'm not gonna have the time to like put a lot of you know wacky wavy edits in there Anyway, I put on Harry Potter Thunderstorm as a nice little study accompaniment 
and this room is annoyingly dark because there's no lights overhead there's just my like bunch of my little lights oh you know what i never put my i never put this one on today this uh that's better and then i also have over here there we go that's a little bit more light anyway leah's has come to say hello that's leah there's leah anyway so leah and i are gonna study so i started reading last night fell asleep but it was interesting because the case i started with was about a couple of people who had been marooned on a ship out at sea and decided to eat kill and eat their other crew member and then were rescued right afterwards and so the case i haven't finished reading it yet but you know i'll fill you in was a question of like are they guilty of murder basically and it just so happens that when i got to work today my coworker katie told me about she told me how she came home from vacation Ugh, a cat had my mouth Ugh, the fudge so anyway she told me about how she came home from vacation and found three mice in her bathtub one was still alive and had clearly killed the other two and was like eating them and she was wondering like should she re-release this mouse into the wild or like is it a psychopath and i was like well funny you ask that because the very first case of my criminal law textbook is about the human version of that story because essentially these mice got trapped like they were marooned in the bathtub which is why one of them had to kill the other ones to survive but i didn't finish it yet so look at her ah. you know is love having hair in your mouth all the time is that what it means to love? But anyway, so once I find out the end of that, I will let her know what she should have done with that mouse. Was that mouse guilty of murder or not? Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read. Megan's coming over soon. She's making me dinner. We're having empanadas, I do believe. And I got some stuff for a salad. <laughs>
Thursday morning and I sent you, sent you what? I showed you just my little breakfast. I think that's all, you, oh, my breakfast and you saw me putting on my makeup, which is really not much of anything. And let's see, I'm on my way to work and the car's almost out of gas. This happened now, second week in a row. I did this last week and it's not on purpose necessarily. I forgot my wallet yesterday, so I can't, I couldn't get gas yesterday. And then I was like, okay, tomorrow morning on the way to work, we'll get gas, but I left too late to get gas. And also I forgot my wallet again. So I'm not really freaking sure what I'm gonna do because I don't think you can use Apple Pay at the pump. I don't know, maybe you can, but I don't know. Like I really don't know if I can go to the pump and use my phone because that's the only form of money that I have with me right now. Feels like a non, an unwise move on my part. It's Wednesday evening and I'm reading property law. Oh my God, the camera's gonna die. This is so stupid. Well, it's gonna die. But anyway, I'm reading property law and I'm not done this section yet. It's definitely taking its time and I'm hoping I can definitely, I mean like I just need to get this done tonight. So I'm gonna try and stay up for like, you know, an extra hour or two to get this done because I need to get caught up. And then tomorrow needs to be time for me to catch back up on lawyering process and crim law, which I didn't finish Monday and Tuesday. So already behind and it's the third day, the third day. I'm already behind, so. Anyway, let me do that. <laughs> like, what, you're gonna stop me? Listen, if you try and stop me, I'll sue you. <laughs> Big news is I got some more of my law school Etsy stickers. They're over there. I'm not gonna get them right now. We'll wait. No. They're there. Um, we'll do that soon. We'll do that soon for sure. But anyway, Sasha made us dinner. She made macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. And I think there's a good chance that I'll get to eat it for lunch tomorrow. So look out for that. You know, stay tuned. And I don't know. You know, life gets, I think, considerably less interesting as a vlogger when you're in school. I realized because it's like the only things I was telling you about are reading. Morning. It's Thursday morning. Leah's here. And I didn't finish all the reading. So I'm gonna try and work on some reading right now. I put the food, the breakfast food in the oven. So that is cooking away. And I'm gonna see if I can even get a few pages done basically before I have to go to work. I just spent the last like, 10 minutes looking for something that I bought but I cannot find <laughs> I bought another laptop stand a portable one because the one I have I mean it's portable ish but like it's heavy and it's not super collapsible so I bought one that I could that it's like super collapsible that I could bring to school and keep just in my backpack because it's really thin and I have no idea where I put it. Okay, update. I went to turn, I went to check on the food in the oven and I realized I never turned the oven on. So I can officially be part of the Great British Baking Show if I want. Well, I don't think muffins on the right thing. Mmm, what to do? Also, I found the laptop stand. I realized that there were a couple of boxes in the living room that I have not fully unpacked yet. There's just like miscellaneous stuff in them. So I looked on a whim and sure enough, it was in there. Still in its um, envelope, by the way. So that's good because that means I do have it. For school, I don't have to worry about that anymore. See, it does get nice and small. So we can go ahead and put that in my bag and I did find it, so now I can read. I mean, there's like nothing else distracting me from reading now so I guess I really want to watch YouTube yeah I just want to be like a lazy bones 
but I still have a good 10 pages left, so I should do that. Okay, so I did make some potatoes. Oh, it's not really raining in here. I just had the rain playing in the background. I did make some potatoes and mushrooms, but those are still in the oven, so I'm just gonna have some gluten-free toast with butter and bacon, and then I've got my tea as well, so yeah, I'm gonna probably eat and keep reading, I think. I also am gonna read probably in my hammock on my lunch break because my bike is still getting its new tube put on, so I can't really ride my bike on my lunch break like I normally would, but I could also watch a YouTube video. Maybe I'll just watch a YouTube I think I probably will. I'll just watch a YouTube video. So much of my life with you, that is just something that I want to have. Or in my relationship, it's just not something that... In my haste to get out here and get the hammock set up, I forgot a pen for the reading, like to take notes. So I'm just gonna read. And I mean, I still have a good like eight pages left of this. So, I mean, it's worth it to read, but I feel so foolish for not bringing a pen to take notes. Uh, like the, the case and just in the notes after the case and everything. And at this point, going all the way back to work would take like five or 10 minutes. So it's not worth it. So I'll just read it and then like take the notes later. And I also forgot my spiky pillow, which I usually bring in the hammock to put right here for my head so that I can do this instead of like this, where I have to like hold my neck up, you know? But anyway, this is the typical lunchtime setup. Yeah, this is not the worst way to spend a lunch, although it is supposed to rain. Like look at these clouds. So I think it probably, I bet, I bet it will rain. I bet we'll get, like our time will be cut short, which will be sad because so cozy out. So nice and cozy snowsy. I have a whole hour to read in my hammock on my lunch break. But if it rains, then that'll be cut to, I don't even know. If I guess if that happens, I could just go get a matcha latte like I did yesterday. So, all right, I'm gonna read. We just have to tell the vlog that we're going to the hot tub. Okay. <laughs> we're going to the hot tub. And actually, Tyler got to do the things on the door handle. Update. We're not at the hot tub after all. The clubhouse is locked and there's no reason and they didn't say why. And we don't know if we'll ever get to go in the hot tub again. So now it's time to go read for school. So as you can see, we didn't get to go in the hot tub today, which is a bummer. I'm gonna read now, but I just wanted to check in and show you these new shorts that I got. I got them, they're from a fair trade factory. I also got, here, let's just, Look at them here. I got these ones as well. Which have a similar vibe to these. So I'm very excited. Because they're just they're gonna be fun for biking to school with. So I also found these today. Which are cat butt stickers. I don't know why I have them. I don't remember. <laughs> also, these came in 
which are more law school stickers. So you got future lawyer, lawyer, world's okayest law student. And then also, so I think I showed you the legally, I did show you the legally blonde stickers. And I told you more stickers were on their way. Yeah, I've got these as well. So I'm just kind of excited for some little stickers to decorate my planner with because I just thought since I couldn't get the Lux Law School planner that I would just make my planner feel a little bit more law school-y. But anyway, I have to do some homework now and then if I get done at a reasonable time, I'll probably read or watch some YouTube. Okay, it's Thursday night, it's 9.30 and I finished reading for property and understood everything, feel like pretty good solid on that I just what I'm what I'm not sure about is like how much I have to like memorize I just don't know what the like, the tests are like gonna look like yet or like I don't know like how I'm gonna have to recall that information so I took a lot of notes and I briefed the cases at some point I'll type that stuff and like start making an outline and then I like updated my planner with what I have to get done for tomorrow and I have to finish stuff for a property. I have to watch the modules or like the the lectures, the recorded lectures and take notes on that. And then I also have to finish reading for criminal law. And then I have to do a pre-test for property and a pre-test for... <sighs> anyway, so I think, I actually think I have like until next class, which is next Saturday to get all this done but I just want to stay on top of it as much as I can because I just don't want to fall behind and then get overwhelmed and like feel like I'm buried because what happens is like now like I'm tired and I just don't force myself to stay up. I learned that lesson in grad school because I didn't learn that lesson in college so I would just push through like I would make myself stay up so late. <sighs> like, <sighs> I mean, even in high school, I just had this mentality that, like, I had to stay up. Like, I was doomed. I had to be miserable and have this really stupid sleep schedule that made no sense and made me just not healthy. And so for graduate school, I was like, I'm not doing that. Like, when I'm tired and need to go to bed, I will go to bed. Unless, like, if I had a paper due tomorrow, you know what I mean? I would just, I would drink a bunch of coffee and I would get through it. So yeah, I'm in bed now. I've got this book to read because the library told me I, don't, I can't check it out anymore. I've, I've only renewed it like twice or maybe once. They said I can't renew it anymore. So it's like, what do you want? Like the books at this library, I think you can check them out for like a week and a half. And I have three books checked out, maybe four books checked out right now. So I finished one. I'm like halfway through the other one. And then the last two I just have to bring them back, but there's no fines, so I'm just gonna like read the book. But anyway, if I start it now, I mean, it's not super duper long, it's like that. But if I start it now, maybe I can get some, get somewhere with it. I don't know. Good morning. It's Friday. It is, it's like 6 10 in the morning. Oh, it's 6 What? That better. 6 11 in the morning and um I put the bacon in the oven so it can start cooking and I'm gonna do hopefully I'm gonna do my grammar pretest. I have to buy the it's like a year subscription or something. I have to buy the year subscription to yeah. Yeah that is a year subscription. And I have to buy it. What else am I saying? I feel like I'm not saying anything. I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing. Leah's here, of course. Here's our little setup. It's nice and cozy. Um, I don't know. What else? What else do you guys want to know? You know, put a drop a line in the comment section about what else you want me to talk about right now. So anyway, that's what's happening. I'm going to do that test. Wish me luck.
so you can't hear the theme right now. One second. To the ground, grant the feeling. Oh my gosh, it is thunderstorming and it's so cozy and I wish I could show you. Like, look. Up here. No. Okay. Yeah, it's just so cozy. <sighs> so I'm going to get my stuff. I was just watching Siesta Key for like an hour and had some dinner and I don't just watch Siesta Key, I watch Tim and Wit watch Siesta Key, which, you know, highly recommend. It's like the best YouTube channel. And anyway, so I'm going to set up my study area and try and finish as many of the assignments I didn't finish yet as I can. And yeah, that's, that's the plan. I'm just gonna get like nice and cozy in the bed and also charge the camera. Mm -hmm. 